Good afternoon. How y'all doing? Yeah, it's a Sunday afternoon, and this is the white-haired redneck old man with you again today. I figure I ain't did one of them here uh, videos for a while, so I figured I'd bring you up. I bring one to you. That's how you say it. I bring them one to you. You see. Alright. Now. Mama in the hospital. She ain't doing real good. Mama 90 years old. I appreciate all the prayers y'all been giving. I sure do. I really, really do. Um, they really don't know what's happening yet. They think it may be something in the backbone and all that. But, uh. They got this thing they stick in there and, you know, kind of like, uh, I won't put it in, in, in terms that could be understood by somebody like me, like that redneck, because you know, it ain't a lot between here and yonder, you know. Um, they stick this tube in there, kind of like cement, you know, like if you're going to cement uh, something and you stick that tube in there and you pump that cement in it. And when that cement lifts his them, uh, them bones in your back, what them thing called? Uh, vertebrates. Vertebrates, that's what it is. And it kind of lifts it up to take the pressure off that thing. And, you know, glue it all back together and, you know, and everything up. But, you know, that's what, you know, but like if you got a pump truck that's pumping cement into a big form type thing, basically it's the same type thing, you know, if y'all understand what I'm talking about. I don't know, I ain't no doctor, but I do know this, if Mr. Pibb would have stayed in school just a little bit longer, he could have been a doctor just like Dr. Pepper. But it ain't the same thing. And the only reason it's not the same thing is because he didn't stay in school longer. Alright, you know. And what else? Uh, my Woody dog says, tell y'all hello. He downstairs, he chilling in that air conditioner. He gets all laid out like that. Legs and everything, he's laying under that air conditioner. I talk to him all the time. And he said, I like it down here under this air conditioner. I just chill out. Daddy, I just chill out. I said, okay. He said, uh, you're going up there to that hospital. Uh, make sure you tell Mama that I said hello and I love her. I said, all right, Woody Dog, I'll do that for you. See, I got a dog that talks, you know, but he talks in a language that I understand, you know, you know. I, I can understand exactly what he's telling me, you know, because I, I got what you call dog brain, I guess. I'm dog brain, okay? Oh, I know y'all see this up there, and y'all wonder why I ain't took it off yet and everything, but, you know, it's like I like this. Now, if I go to that thrift store, or wherever it is that I may be going at, you know, because I ain't never dare to tell <coughs> But if it wasn't for Stacy, my co-worker, probably wouldn't be going a whole lot of places. Because I can't drive no more. Well, I can. Got them, uh, what do you call that thing with your picture on it? Uh, driving license. Driving license. I got them. But I can't see. Got Cadillacs in my eyes. And it scares me to drive. And hell, if it scares me to ride, drive by myself, I don't think it's really a good idea to be driving, you know. You know, uh, that's just the way I feel sometimes, you know. Um, now, back to business. I'm going to come here first. It's called a sales update. Lord, look at here, look at here. Y'all want to know what I sold since Friday? I didn't sell a damn thing since Friday. Me and my co-worker 
is the ones that actually sold it. She she might not have been here because her husband's working. But if she wouldn't have been here to help me get this stuff straightened out and put in orders and things like that, it wouldn't happen. And people that say, oh, they ain't no work involved in that eBay. Nothing at all. There ain't no work involved in that. Oh, never. Some bitch lying to you. My answer is when they come up to me, they say, oh. So in other words, that's all you do for a living and ain't much to that, you know. I said, well, um, it ain't much to it. And it ain't hard. And you make good money off of it. I've got one question for you. Why ain't you doing it? And then they got them excuses. Them, 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 them excuses. i tell y'all a little bit about excuses. I, I, I'm going to try to put this in a way so it's kid friendly. You know. But, uh, I was dating this woman about oh, 35 years ago. 30, 35 years ago. It's been a long time. L O N G time. Long time. Okay. And um, I drive a semi truck. That's one of them that's got 19 wheels. 18 on. Actually, it's got 20 wheels. Because you count steering wheel, fifth wheel, that's. If you got a spare, that would make it 21. I am. A, am I not smart? I am. I'm a math. I'm a. I'm a mathematical genius. Like Eddie Murphy said, "Hey, a musical genius." Well, I'm a mathematical genius. It got 18 on the ground. It got one in dry in the steering wheel. Got the fifth wheel. If you got a spare, that'd be 21. Lord of mercy. Ain't y'all proud of me how smart I am? I guarantee tell you, I heard that. I called on this phone because we didn't have none of them beepers and deet deets and all this kind of stuff and them secular telephone back then, you know. None of that kind of stuff. But we had a CB, but it wouldn't reach from Detroit to, say, Pensacola or wherever it was, you know. It had to be done on the telephone. You know, some of these truck stops have 40, 50 telephones or what they call the telephone bank. Never seen no money come out of the telephone bank, but that's what they called it was telephone bank. I guess it's a bank for telephones. I, I, I don't know. There's a lot of things in life that they just ain't figured out yet. But I will tell you this. I don't think Humpty Dumpty got on that wall by himself. He got little bit short arms and little bit short legs. There's no way. I think that was deliberately done and they knew that he was going to fall because he couldn't balance up there with the round end and he was going to break and you couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. So somebody that was trying to do wrong, you know, I, I hope one day I can find that person who done that. Me and him have to have a little talk because I'm not, uh, I, I, I don't uh, care much for that kind of stuff, you know. And, uh, and uh, you know, let me tell you about Jack and Jill. Okay. That's one of them nursery rhymes they call it. All right. But this way I see it. Now, Jack and Jill went up a hill. Okay, to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown. Okay, there's the first part. Crown. Most time when you have a crown, you'll be a king. Okay. And broke his crown. And Mary Jill came uh, tumbling after. That's the biggest bunch of BS I ever heard in my life. Because if he had a crown and he was a king, why didn't he sit in his throne with Mary sitting beside him and have somebody else go get his water for him? 
duh, you know. Just like they say, it's easier than shooting fish in a barrel. That ain't easy. I'll tell you what I did one time. I went and got me one of them uh, uh, wooden barrels. Got me about 50 fishes put in there and filled it full of water. Started trying to shoot them fish with 22. I never did hit the fish. But I got a bunch of holes in my barrel, run my barrel. I weren't none too happy about that. Okay. Just just the way it is. But back to what we were talking about earlier, uh oh, oh yeah. See, I got that that uh yeah. You know what I'm talking about. An Ann Hams Anheuser Bush. Okay. Six pack of Hurricane Katrina water. They come from Cartersville, Georgia. And it's going to Hopewell Junction, New York. I think they may be getting this for like a collector's piece or something like that. Because I don't think $19 for a six pack of water, I, I don't really think they're getting it for drinking. But you never know. You know stranger things have happened. The next thing we have on the list is pink. Victoria's Secret Scoop Neck Brazier. Brazier. Some people call it bra, but it's actually a brazier. You gotta put the zier on it, okay? Uh, size 34A push up plan. I don't know much about them bras. I'm sorry about them draws here. I didn't get much for it. Seven dollars plus shipping. Heck, I paid $1.99. Ain't too bad. A lot of the stuff I'm fixing to tell you about, and I'm telling you about, I've had for a long time. So I put it on a, uh, is that word? A discounted sale. C-A-L-E. Sale. Discount. Sale. Sale. No, I'm a good speller too. Oh, look here, look here. Sony PlayStation 2 PS2 Dual Shock Satin Silver Official Animal. Lots of words in it. $12.93. But, uh, that's shipping included on that item. Yes, sir. Yes, it is. Now, Hewlett Packard. That's some kind of electronic still because Hewlett wasn't around when Packard made vehicles. So they didn't call it Hewlett Packard. I, I don't know if them Packard folks was kin to each other or not, but they made cars long years ago. I don't know if y'all remember any of that or not, but they were called Packards. You know, my daddy had one down there in that field. They had a bunch of vehicles down there. I said, Daddy, one time. I said, why do you keep all them vehicles down there? They ain't no good for nothing else. He said, man, I'm keeping them for what good to have been. I, I, you know, they his, hell, I guess he'd keep them for whatever he wanted. They ain't there no more. They were some old cars down there, like a 98 old mobile, 50-something model, 50-something mile station wagon. Heck, ain't no telling what down there. And if you walk on down further in the woods, they was a, I think it was a 53 Ford, uh, vehicle uh, that been down there for years and years it was a big truck like a one ton you know but you know, 
Day or three ago. Let me tell you about this little story. I know y'all probably get tired of hearing me, but I'm sorry. You know, I, I, I have a tendency to ramble on and rip. You know. I had this fella one day, I had, we had this 51 Ford uh, F1 sitting there in the yard. Yeah, rough shape. Is not even a giving it credit for nothing because it was in a lot worse shape than rough shape. When we took it off the road, we used it on the farm, deliver feed, and egg, and all this because we had a big 25,000 chicken egg farm. Yep. Just in case anybody wanted, my brother did a lot more work than me, and I gotta give him credit for that. About uh, time I come along, to real age, everything. Uh, Daddy uh, got rid of the chickens, you know. Everything I wasn't really very much of a. I do know this. <clears throat> I didn't want to be a farmer. It's hot. H O T T T hot. Okay. But back to this. Hewlett Packard HP 45 black ink cartridge in original seal box. Oh, original seal box. 10 2005. Which means it's got extra relation date on it. Ink. <clears throat> I've never had a problem with selling expired ink. But you got to make sure that they know it's expired ink. Or then you're doing the false advertisements and you know, I ain't much into false stuff and all that and, you know. If I can't tell you the truth I don't want to tell you nothing at all. Oh, and y'all need to go out there and uh, get a chance. So tonight they have that uh, reseller six pack. Watch it. Pretty interesting. Good folks on there, you know. You got Golden Finger Picker. That's one. And then you got Tanya Sheets, and that's Thrift and Treasures. And then I believe you got. Uh, Lonnie, he's his garage and flips. There's three more on there. Uh, Dwayne, Mothership Products, Dwayne Hale. And I don't know who else. So Pete, Craigslist Hunter might be on there. They got all different kind of people on there. Joe, Cincinnati Picker might be on there. But y'all should just check out, get them pieces of love. Yeah, they're trying to help us. Ain't nothing wrong with them trying to help somebody. Nothing wrong at all. You know, people say, ah, oh, they make a whole lot of money on them Ewing Tube videos. Well, what is wrong with making money? Okay, they ain't costing us nothing for free education. Let me ask you this. I know they don't get paid enough. I agree with that. But do teachers get paid? Damn right they do. Do uh, professors get paid? Yeah, they do. Uh, what are they doing when they teach us things and we learn and we make money from what listening to what they say? They are teaching us. Why the hell not get paid? Duh! You know, you got to be a really, really idiot not to learn something from somebody else that knows something. It don't mean that you don't know nothing. But this person may know something a little bit more than that person over there about something different. I teach y'all how to pack an egg. 
Another one teach you how something of else. I don't know what this hemp cap is, but I bought it the other day. It's got them uh, scrambled eggs, they call them up there. And it says something on there about a U.S. Air Force Class 50-E Reno Reunion 2002. Okay. Now that tells me, and I learned this from Chad Goldenfinger Pecker, that tells me that that's kind of like a one-off hat. They wasn't a million of those made. Do I know what it's worth? I ain't got a clue. I don't know. Ought to be worth something. Hell, you know. But I got enough, enough, well, I want to call it sense, but I ain't got no sense. That's for damn sure. Well, but, uh, you know, how many people were in the class of 50E? First thing you gotta do is you gotta do your research. I've been doing research, I ain't found nothing yet, but I will continue to. Cause I'm one researching son of a bitch. Oh. Sorry about that. I didn't, I didn't uh, say that. But it's got to look, look there. Gold, stripe, all it comes from here to here. It has to be somebody that had this, and probably an officer. Ossifer, yeah, Ossifer. and uh, Reno Reunion 2002. Well, I bet there wasn't the 5,000 people that went there. So there's a really good chance that they might be one of them people out there that went to it that might be interested in this. You never can tell. But I don't know how to list it yet. I'll figure it out. It's all part of the game. It's, it's, it's not really a game, but it's like a... Uh, we're stuff relocators. We relocate stuff. We locate stuff here. And we bring it to our house. And then we relocate it to somebody else. Who knows? They may even relocate it to somebody else. So, we're stuff relocators. So that would mean that we were really in the stuff relocation business. There you go. Alright, the next thing on this list is some of them Nintendo games. I thought I was going to be really, really smart going to buy me some of them Nintendo games because I'd heard so much about it. Didn't know a dang thing about it. And it showed. So, they're gone. Uh, I sold five of them for $18.02. But they're the Game Boy cartridges. Hell, I don't know if they work. Or I ain't buying no more. Now, if I see the ones that are a little bit bigger, I might try some of them. I didn't pay a whole lot, but... You know, every business has losses. Well, not every business, but I think y'all kind of get the gist of what I'm trying to say. That's the word. Gist. G-I-S-T. Gist. Stay there. Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. Alright. This damn dog has pissed me off. I'm sorry about that. Just a minute. Talking to you, talking behind my back. There she is. And I told you, I have done told you, and told you, and told you to quit talking about me. If she's going to talk about me, talk about my, to my face. Don't look over there at that box and everything. Damn it, dog. Damn it. That's what I do are. Damn it, doll. Doll? Don't you give me no sass. Damn it. Damn it, doll. I guarantee you. I tell you what y'all want to do. 
one more time. I'm liable to cut your head off. I'll poke you in one of them green eyes, but damn it. You sit over there, you be quiet, don't you say another dang word, okay? Now, I'm tired of you. I'm really tired of your stuff. Now, don't be, don't be doing that no more. Alright? Now, I'm gonna be quiet. I gotta do something I gotta do. You need to keep your mouth shut, Mrs. Emmett doll. Okay. Now see, this is from Tanya Trift and Treasures. Damn it, doll. Damn it. And you bit me? I'm gonna tell you something. These are really mean. Get over there and shut up. I ain't got time for you right now. Damn it, doll. Next thing on the list is Mississippi Gulf Coast Restaurants Post Hurricane Katrina Stories and Recipes. Recipe is what you use to make stuff with. Well, not just any kind of stuff. I guess it could be, but most time restaurant re recipes are used for restaurants and home cooking and all that. So food and recipes pretty much go together. But I guess you could have a recipe to build a car. I don't know. I just know it's the rest of the pea. Alright. What else I got over here? You better shut up over there now. I told you one time. Okay, these are vintage Lee riveted dungarees bib overalls women's oh got $16 plus shipping on this $6.05 shipping I put it in one of them uh, flattened rate envelopes that's, that, 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 that's what I do with it no problem Next thing I get, well, this is him. Kind of messed up. And uh, I'm actually paying probably $2 for this person to have this shirt. But, oh well. It's a quiz women's blouse. Blouse. B O L. Blouse. Okay. A blouse is a lot like a shirt. It's just in case, you know, you can look it up at the Wicked of the Pedias and find out, but, you know, I, I think it's a lot like a shirt, you know. I ain't get much for that. That's going to cost me. Next thing on this list is I got Cadillacs in my eyes. Can't see. Okay. This and him is actually going to. Well, it's going to the Erlanger, Kentucky. I'm not a hundred percent sure what place it's going after it goes to the Erlanger, but it is a pair of Nike. I don't sell a lot of Nike. Every now and then I sell them some. I got a whole bunch of them that's listed, you see. You see. You know what I'm saying. Uh -huh. All right. Ooh. They take me $20 blood shipping for these Nikes. I'll take them back. I'll take them back. I ain't making a lot of money, but I'm moving a lot of product. So I get room to put some of this good stuff that I still got over in that storage over here. I've been doing very little thrift store shopping. But uh I get the urge sometimes. I don't know if y'all ever had that urge or not. That urge to go shopping. So most time I go shopping in my storage building over there. What do you think about that? Yeah. Ah, 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 
That's it. All right, next thing is a game. A G-A-M-E game that I've had for a long time. I paid a dollar for it. With shipping and everything, I'm getting like $12, you know, with shipping. It's going to Texas, T-A-X-E-S. Yeah, Texas. That's that one that's uh, down yonder, like on the border of Mexico. That's that big state, you know. Okay. Actually, it's real big. It's bigger than uh, bigger than a lot of other states. <laughs> that's amazing, ain't it? Ain't it amazing that jeep, 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 jeep. Study about land. All right. Oh, looky here, looky here. This person, he lived out there in Tucson, Arizona. That's that way. No, that way. It's west of him. You got to just go on, get on that uh, big road and follow that big road. And when you get to Louisiana, you don't take 10. You stay on 12. Okay. And it goes straight on in that, that Baton Rouge. And then you get on that long bridge, and then you gotta go through that long 800 something miles, whatever it is, from from Orange, Texas, to past El Paso, Texas. Long way out there, and all, huh? I guarantee you. And then you get out there in that, that Tucson. Yeah, I've been to Tucson several times. You got a truck stop out there called Triple T, and then put 78 plus 3 minus 11. Plus four times. These is Merrill Mohab ventilator hiking shoes. These things has got spring water on them. I got a couple, two or three places on them got spring water. I guess that lets your foot breathe, but well, if you walk in water, you know, that's about as useless as screen door on a submarine. I guess some people don't mind to get their feet wet. I, I don't get mine very wet very much, but every now and then I have to take a shower about once a month. Well, I get my feet wet. Next thing is a Gone with the Wind. It is Gone with the Wind. They made a movie about that one time. What they called it? They called it Gone with the Wind. They got this one woman in there named Scarlett. Scarlett last name was O'Hare. O-H-A-R. Something like that. I, I ain't sure. but It might have been O like O-H and then Hare. But then that might not have been spelled either. It's a, they got so many spellers for so many words. I just don't understand why they can't just spell the words that's supposed to be spelled. You know, like it's, you know, read it like it's read, you know. Lord of mercy. Good thing I didn't invent the alphabet and the language. None of y'all know what the hell I was talking about. Gone with the wind, Scarlet. Lord of mercy. I've had her for a long time. I paid $5 for her. Uh, I got uh, $15.98. And she's going to Tennessee. That's that uh, up yonder place. You know, Kingsport. It's over there by Bristol. Uh, Kingsport over there by Bristol. Now Bristol is really where uh, country music started right in that area. And uh, Bristol they got this uh, race, car race. They go round and round, 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 round. Well they just keep going round and round. But they go left. It's, it's just actually a series of turning left. You know, just left. Um, I've been to a few of them races and I sat in there one day and this uh, how I want to put it 
way that will be right. It's very good looking woman, young woman. Hell, most of us are younger than me anyway. Um, she started walking down the stairs and she could see that I'd done wrong with some of them boy peanuts. She says, Boy, them look good. I like them boy peanuts. I said, Well, all right. I said, Sit down here. Let me feed some of them boy peanuts. She said, I'll do it when they come back. All right. Well, of course, everybody don't believe she's going to come back and sit down. You know, you never can tell. Here she comes a little bit later on. She has her drink, coke, whatever you want to call it. Some people call it tote. Some people call it pop. Some people call it this and that. It's all pretty much it's carbonated beverage. It's called carbonated beverage. Y'all didn't know I know that. Um, what'd she do? She just sat down there right beside me. And I fed her them bowl peanuts one and one. I said, Here, back here. She goes, mm -hmm. It was funny. Yeah. Finally, after about 15 minutes, uh, she says, uh, I better get back up there with my boyfriend. He'd probably get mad at me. Yeah, I think you might better get back on up there to him because you know, I don't want to get you in no trouble. She gave me a little kiss right here. She said, thank you so much for getting them little peanuts. I enjoyed that. I really did. Hell, I enjoyed it too. Ain't too often a big old ugly uh, white-haired old man get kicked on cheek or anywhere else. One of them good-looking women's. <laughs> I like me some good looking women's too. I sure do. All right. So next thing is some of this ink. I think we paid 10 cents for it. Shipping everything, I got $8.64 for it. It cost about $2 shipping. So that's not a bad deal. Like I say, I ain't making a lot of money, but get a lot of stuff moved out of my way. I, I ain't really got nothing yet that's really going to be hard to ship. See, I've learned that too. Learned, that's, that's a good word. That's some more water. I got two more things that I'm going to let y'all go. Well, y'all can leave me. Actually, I'm not the ones in charge of letting y'all go. Y'all pretty much can go on your own. If y'all don't like watching me, y'all, that's all right. If y'all do, that's all right, too, because I enjoy doing what I do, and, you know, I'm pretty much me. But I, I will explain this. What you see on this camera, on this uh, viewing tube, that's what you're going to see every day out of me because that's just the way I am. I don't put on no airs for nobody. I ain't never done it, never will. Do I care what people think about me? Not really. You know, if you like me, hey, that's great. Smash that dang like button. If you don't like me, smash that dick like button. Hey, I'm big boy. You know, it might scare me, hurt me for Wow, but after I get through crying and everything else, you know, I, I'll try to help you, you know. But uh, all I'm doing is just trying to help y'all out, hope, hoping y'all have a good day. But, uh, you know, just if you got any comments, that's fine. Because I made a video not too long ago that had music in the background, it was drowning everything out. And I had a comment from several people don't use the music. So, I learned. I ain't got no music in the background. I got the, uh, me in the background. <laughs> Dog, <laughs> I ain't you? I'm, Lord of mercy, ain't y'all proud of me? That's a Wrangler, Western, plaid, pearl snap, long sleeve shirt, men's size two. X, L. Yeah, two XL. I got $10 or something for you.
shift. Business, once it's business, start picking back up after the summer. I'll start raising my prices back up. So I won't get rid of what I got first. That's just the way it is. Alright, now here's me another one. And it's going to Alabama. Alabama's right up yonder, you know. It's just like that way, not very far. Well, depends on if you're walking or driving or, or flying an airplane. If you're flying an airplane, it's not very far at all. If you're driving a car, it's really not too far. But if you're walking, pretty dang good long ways up here yonder, you know. Especially this 175 plus 3 minus 2 and 8 degree temperature with 147 plus 3 degrees of humidity. Yeah. You'd probably be sweating before you got there. Heck, I can walk and sweat go to the post office, you know. I, I, I'm talking about, yeah, it's just part of being in this one. It's cold. My daddy, let me tell you a little story. I, I grew up about, oh heck, 20 mile, 30 mile, 40 mile, up here right on that Alabama line. I always complained about the heat. I still complain about the heat. He said, son, you'll get used to it one day. I'm still waiting on that day. Because I ain't used to it yet. Let's we'll see. And he said one day I'll get used to it. We'll see. Now, the last thing on this list is a Barbie. B A R B I E. Glenda the Good Witch from The Wizard of Oz. A 1999 Mattel. It's new in the box with the box is rough. It's going from here to. Alabama. I think I made about three dollars, two dollars, something like that in the flea market. I, I don't spend a lot of money on very much stuff, you know. And it's a learning curve, and, and a lot of this stuff I've had for quite a while, you know. It's it's a learning curve, you know. Uh, my learning curve is not real, real. It, it doesn't like spike, you know. It, it does go, you know, like that. Uh, I was graded on a grading curve one time, one of them tests I took during that school, you know, and uh, still made an elf, so I don't know what good it really did me. Uh, you know, I see this old port cards and stuff, people. Have you ever seen the port cards like this that was read in and all this kind of stuff? And they showed a picture of one that had all A's and B's. I said, yeah, I've seen them like that, but I ain't never had one like that. Mine's is D and F's. And, uh, and, uh, they did give me an S, a satisfactory, on some things. You know, like art, I got a satisfactory. Being in class, I got a satisfactory. I don't understand that one bit though, because I was not satisfied being there at all. They were satisfied. You know, you just never can tell. I like to say they locked to me here and there. So that's a Glenda. Now I got to get out there see if I can't find all this stuff. It's right over yonder in the other room. I know a fan blender. She's over on laying on that table. I hope she don't get out that box before I get a chance to get it back. Y'all have a great day and uh, if you like, hit that thumbs up. If you don't hit that thumbs down. Y'all wanna call me bad words? That's alright, I've been called bad words before. If you wanna call me good words, heck that'd be good too. But uh, y'all have a good day and I'm letting all y'all go now, and uh, I know this is a long video, but both my videos are because I don't know when to shut up. Y'all have a great day, and remember, 
God loves you. See you later now. Bye, y'all.